Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can uh, transfer data from your old Android phone to the new iPhone 11 Pro during the setup process, uh, also wirelessly. So here, what you want to first to do is to go to your old Android phone. So I'm just going to uh, make the make the view easier to see. So I'm going to go to the old Android phone and go to Play Store. And what you want to do is install an app called Move to iOS and install it. Now, this is a Samsung Galaxy S8. I have already installed it, so I'm just going to tap on Open. And I'll leave it like that for now. Go back to the iPhone 11 Pro. And I'm going to set up the phone. I'm going to choose the region. And then tap on Set Up Manually and connect to my Wi-Fi uh, network. And then I will join the Wi-Fi network on this phone. Also on this phone here, make sure you are joining to the same Wi-Fi network on your uh, Android phone. So here he's getting ready to move to iOS. So just wait for the phone to activate. Then on here, tap on continue in data and privacy section. Then tap on set up later in settings when you see face ID, you can set up face ID later. And you can also set up a passcode now or later, it's your choice. So I'm just going to choose um, set up later. So don't use passcode for now. Don't use passcode. And then what I do is I'm going to tap on move data from Android. So tap on that. And then it says move from Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer data. You can transfer your photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. So just download the apps. So I'm going to tap on continued. And this is the code here. So on my Android phone, so on this screen here, tap on continued and then tap on agreed. And it says find your code. So you can see that's the code there. Tap on next. And we're going to put the code in from the iPhone. So 912. So I'll go 912-611. So you will need to put in the code from over here to over here. So it says connecting to iPhone. So we just wait for it to connect. So this may take some time, so I'm just going to wait. Now at this point, if you're running into trouble, where you see an error message say that it could not connect with the other device, with the iPhone, what you can do is we start both devices. We start the iPhone and we start your Android phone. So. See, you can see it says could not communicate with the other device. So try to restart both phone and then try again. So I'm just going to start this phone here. So I'm just put this in the video just in case you run into an issues. Uh, you face the same problems. Try to restart the phone. After restarting, just um, launch move to iOS on Android phone again. And on the iPhone, just set up again. So here I'm just going to try to set up again after restarting as you may face the same problem. So I'll move to Android, move data from Android and continue and 452180 and then give that a try and see if you can successfully connect this time. Okay, so once you have successfully connected both device this is what you can do so you can see it's the iOS move from Android and data transfer Google account just tap on next now depending on what kind of information that you have on your phone uh, you will be able to transfer if you have photos you can transfer photos if you have um, documents you can transfer documents if you have nothing on this phone then there's not nothing much to choose from you can see on my phone, this is a newly set up phone, so I don't have anything much on this phone to uh, transfer over. 
even in gallery I don't have anything to uh, so we can uh, we can take the photos and then we try to transfer over so once the transfer is complete you can tap on continue setting up iPhone and then tap on forget password or don't have an Apple ID set up later in settings don't use tap on agreed and then tap on continue knock now disable or enable location services continued so we can set up Siri later if you don't if you want it to and so that's how you can transfer data from your Android phone over to their new um, iPhone 11 Pro now if during the setup process you are running into problem connecting uh, the Android phone to the iPhone make sure that uh, you are connecting to the Wi-Fi network on the iPhone so I will show you uh, the problems again okay so just in case that you are running into troubles uh, communicating the Android phone with the iPhone I have to reset the iPhone just to show you again um, how you can fix that error so we just wait for the iPhone to activate so this part is quite important so if you get stuck at this part then you cannot progress any further so this is how you can uh, fix it so when you get up to this part here so we put in the passcode 313380 and sometimes you have run into trouble saying that the phone could not communicate uh, with the iPhone so I'm trying to show you how you can fix this problem so I leave this video running um, so you can see exactly what is the error and how you can fix it so I'm not sure yep here it is so it said could not communicate with the iPhone so what, what you want to do is tap on the home key to go back to your home screen then swipe down and tap and hold to the Wi-Fi icon right there now you want to connect to the Wi-Fi that generated by the phone iOS so tap on that and you can see here we want to put in the password so what is the password the password is the exact same name up, up here so you want to put in iOS in up uppercase with the O with the S that has to be in uppercase also you need, you need to put in the space so it has to be exactly the same so here I'm gonna put in so I capital O capital S with a space and then six three two six six so whatever the name is you need to put in exactly the same and tap on connect so once you be able to connect to the Wi-Fi that has been published on the iPhone so you can see here let's check out the Wi-Fi so I'm still connecting to that so I'm going to um, because that in Wi-Fi is interfering so I'm just going to forget that Wi-Fi and then I'll go back to the iPhone and then I was just want to refresh it to make sure the iOS is turning, is uh, giving out the Wi-Fi signal. So it's not giving out the Wi-Fi signal now. So we're going to go back and tap on that right there. And then I'm just going to swipe down. So there it is. We tried again this time. So you may need to try a few times, and you have to be quick. So here iOS. So I capital O capital S and then space. Zero A five seven C and tap on connect. And you can see here it's a internet may not be available, so don't worry about that. So tap on the home key to go back to the home screen and then switch over to iOS. So this time that we have connected to the Wi-Fi on the iPhone, we're gonna put in the code two eight zero eight eight sometimes when you get to this point you may be getting really frustrated because you cannot move any forward because it's a cannot communicate with the phone and you can see now uh, after 
getting through the troubles you can uh, uh, can communicate with the iPhone and then from here now you got you can move whatever is available on your phone so on the, my phone I only have camera photos and Google account I don't have anything else if you have all the stuff on your phone more options will appear down here now tap on next and then it will begin to transfer over from the old Android phone to the iPhone so hopefully that um, can help you out uh, that error is quite a bit of a troubles um, you know that can potentially stop you from uh, transferring data from your Android over to iPhone so hopefully that helps you out and that's done then done then I can uh, continue with the setup process as I've shown you previously so now I'm just gonna quickly to go through it so on this phone here so where's gallery gallery you have to have two photos there so I'm going to tap on a grade and that's it so finally we have uh, managed to um, transfer all the data over and there it is and that's it Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you out and please subscribe to my channel for more videos.